liquor store Thunderbird, two bottles, maybe three, maybe four Follow my feet down the music road Pour it on the pavement like you would a tombstone Like you would a tombstone Like you would a tombstone Pour it on the pavement like you would a tombstone I swear I'm 38 years old, but my head continues to grow. It's still getting bigger every day. It's amazing, this melon. Does it look big? Because it's really big. It's growing. Every day it's growing. Mike's Music Method. Hello, everybody. Come on in. Come yonder. Try on the hat. Looks so good on you. Looks great on you. So try on your country hat because I am bringing you Coulter Wall's Motorcycle. Coulter Wall, if you don't know him, I'm sure you do, but if you don't, great new country artist playing legit country music and finger picking. So I wanna thank Rhino for um, requesting this song, my buddy and patron Rhino, and others of you, because this is a popular one, Coulter Wall is, and I have more coming. But look, my wife helped me set up my room. She has like an eye. She knows how to look at things I don't. Does it look prettier? I got a new camera, a light. Mike's Music Method upping his upping his uh, video quality for you. Uh, so if you're new to this channel, welcome. I'm gonna walk you through it very slow to make sure you understand it. There'll be tabs up on the screen and you're gonna get some finger picking down. If you're absolutely new to finger picking, check out the Travis Picking playlist. This song is not super complicated, um, but it, clearly you should have Travis picked before. This should not be your first or second Travis Picking song. But if you, you know, if you got a few under your belt, let's dive in and do it. Coulter Walls, motorcycle, it's fun, it's upbeat. Put the hat on, you look way better in it than I do. Let's do it, y'all. Ah. <laughs> Measure one. Now, if you're Coulter Wall, you'll have the whole thing tuned down a whole step, and then you'll have the capo on the second fret. The reason he does that is you get really jangly, pretty cool, dark noodly sound. It just sounds a bit grittier. Um, but I'm tuned to standard. This guitar doesn't like to be tuned down without being reset up. But if you're playing a steel string, whole step down, capo second fret, or standard tuning like we are here. Measure one, all Travis picking. So our thumb is going back and forth on a G chord. All we need to hold down is that third fret there. We're going back and forth between six and four. We got one little extra note. It's six, four, and and is my pointer finger on the third string. And he does that four times, it repeats that measure. And it's palm muted, so your karate chop right there, palm muted. Four times. Just that little intro. Measure two. This happens a whole bunch during the song, so let's make sure we, we got it and we're playing it well. We have a quick hammer on, so it's that chromatic element going from the F sharp to the G. That gives it that really cool sound. So we're, we're not on a new chord, we're still doing G, but we just have that half step underneath it, kind of approaching from that leading tone, you call it. And so measure two, we got a hammer, two to three. Then thumb goes to four. Pointer finger again is and on the third string. So thumb, thumb, and. Six string, four third, and then that just repeats. Get used to that a little bit slower. Three, four, and it's a snappy little hammer on. When you get it to speed, it'll be like that, but nice and slow. Make sure that's an easy concept for you. I'm just doing middle to ring. He does it a lot, so I know it's not that hard, but. It's it's a novel, a little bit unique, so make sure you got that down. And then we'll go right into measure three. And this one's fun. We got a nice little walk. It starts on a G chord. Six, two, five, three. So here you actually do have to put your middle finger down to get this chord. Six, two, five, three. And that's the first half of the measure. Six, two, five, three. And then we go to a C chord and we do five, two, four, three. So let's go through that. On the G chord, we need this finger and your middle. Six, two, five, three. And then we go to a C chord, 
right, normal C chord, and the strings are five, two, four, three. Instead of six, two, it's five, two, four, three. And all those I'm doing thumb, middle, thumb, pointer. Same thing on the C chord, thumb, middle, thumb, pointer. And I'm staggering it a little bit. I always like to play it at speed to kind of get what I'm doing. It's a little bit hoppier. So I'm not holding both of those together. I got the G, and then I'm putting that middle finger down on the B, second fret. And then I go to a full on C chord for the next part. It's a bit more staccato when you separate them. So really slow, three, four. Again, thumb, middle, thumb, pointer, thumb, middle, thumb, pointer. Yeah. Measure four, pretty much the same. We have that hammer on, but then he just stays there without the hammer on. So you got the idea, hammer on, on six, four, three, no hammer on, six, four, three. So nothing really different there. And then we go to measure five. It is a D7 chord with the F sharp and the bass. You can play it without the thumb, but I highly recommend that you're using your left hand thumb here to play that second fret, that F sharp. In this moment of the chord, we only need two fingers. Later on, he'll realize more of the D7, but right now we're just doing F sharp in the bass, second fret with your thumb, and then my middle finger is playing the second fret on the third string, on the G string. And that's it, and here's the pattern. It is, I'll play it once so you can hear it. We have six, three, four, two, really got to use your fingertips because both that four and that two are both open so you really want them to ring out and sound clean we have six three four two six three four three again but that third string is open so break it apart really slow six three four two is the first half and i'm doing thumb pointer thumb middle get that down and then the second half of the measure is six, three. So thumb, pointer, thumb on the four, and then pointer is open on the third string again. So six, three, four, three, lift it open. The whole measure, three, four. This is when I ask for your money. Give me all your money. Give me all your money. <laughs> Uh, guys, Mike's Music Method, I'm bringing you this content. There's no paywall. I want everyone out there to be able to get a great finger-picking education, and I'm going to keep doing that, but it's, it's so much easier and better with your support. I put a lot of hours and time into getting accurate transcriptions for these songs, tabbing them out, bringing you these videos, so please consider what it's worth to you. Maybe it's like a guitar lesson a month. That's 40 bucks a month that you'd be paying someone, and that's only once a week, maybe it's 160 bucks a month. Maybe you're only giving me 20 bucks a month, maybe you're giving me at five bucks a month, I don't know. Please donate, contribute on um, Patreon or PayPal. It's the value for value model. If someone can't afford it, guess what? There's no paywall so they can still get this amazing finger picking guitar education. But if you do have the means, please consider what kind of value am I bringing into your life? Consider giving Mike, your buddy Mike over here, a little value back. Maybe it's your talent and you make the cool thing for Mike's music method. I don't know what that would be. Artwork, people have sent me beautiful artwork before. That could be your talent or your treasure. Maybe you make a lot of money and you can, you know, buy me a few meals every month or get me a new, I don't know, something. Something, I'll do something good with your money is what I'm saying. Maybe it'll be keeping my electricity running. Um, but I need money to do this. <laughs> and if, so, so if you guys buy me time, I'll be able to make more of these videos, bring better content more often. You get what I'm saying? It's a value for value model. Please consider it. Let's keep going with the song. Measure six. We're working through it, guys. You were all cruising through it, having fun here. Uh, back to the hammer on, so nothing new. The two to three hammer on thing. And then the next measure, seven, we do the same walk that we did before, identical. The G chord, then to the C, but actually not identical because he just simplifies it. Now I'm nuts, I'm like really geek out on exactly what he's doing in the recording. But remember, you don't have to be nuts like I do, you can play it the exact same way. But in this measure, it's different than measure three because the end is just this. It's a little more sparse as opposed to the, 
he's getting rid of that second string hit there. I'm just doing thumb, thumb, and. Really subtle, I know. If you don't want to memorize both ways, pick the one that you like better and stick with it. Otherwise, let's keep going to the next measure here. Eight is, so he came out of that C chord for measure seven, and then he moves his ring finger to get a C chord with a G in the bass. And I'll play this measure here. We have six, one. Oh, and our pinky goes down. Pinky's down in the third fret of the first string. So six, one, four, three. Still a C chord. Then he moves that ring finger back down. it at the end. Or no, nothing's lifted, sorry. <laughs> Six, one, four, three, five, two, four, three. And it's thumb, middle, thumb, pointer, thumb, middle, thumb, pointer. Six, one, four, three, five, one, four, three. So if we go from measure seven with the walk, Probably the trickiest part so far, but I think you guys got it. If not, go back a little bit. Take it slow, the microscope, bit by bit. I know you'll get there. Measure nine. I promise when we get to 14, we'll do a nice slow run through of the whole thing so you guys don't get lost. Here is nine. It starts the same. Six, one, four, three. So it's that C chord, but still with the ring finger on the sixth string and the pinky down on the third fret of the first string. We've got six, one, four, three, just like before. But then he goes back to the G, hammer on. So hammer two to three, four, three. We stay on G for the next measure, measure 10. Six, two, four, three. Nothing new there. Thumb, middle, thumb, pointer. And then he ends that measure on the D7 with the F sharp in the bass. Goes like that, or again, use your thumb. It's like the ending of the other D7. So it's just six, three, four, three. And that last three is open instead of the second fret. Six, three, four, three. Yep. Measure 11, you'll notice in the tab, if you go download it, all my tabs are free to download. Mike'sMusicMethod.com, free, no paywall. Unbelievable. So download your tab. It's way easier than always following along on the screen. It's better if you have it on your own screen or even better yet, print it. And then you got a nice piece of paper with the tab. You don't have to stare at the screen for the 10 million thing in your life that you do that now involves a screen. One less moment in the screen is always good. Uh, and you'll notice, so here is ending one and two. So we'll, we'll play this ending and then the repeat sign will be in 14. And we play it all over again, but he sings this time. And then that's the gist of it. There's just different endings and, and a little bit of a chorus that we'll, we'll get to in a moment here, or a bridge, whatever you want to call it. Um, so here we go. We are on 9, 10, 11 with, with this first and second ending. About a hammer on, two to three, and then it's just thumb alone. So, And then it's our pinky down on the third fret of the first string. Six, one, four, three. So that whole measure. And it repeats, but it's a little different here in the next measure, measure 12. Hammer again, but it's six, two, four, three. So if we do those two measures, 11 and 12, we have hammer, six, one, four, three, hammer, six, two, four, three. Similar pattern, just given different kind of melodic notes on top. 13 is the same as uh, 11. Hammer, six, one, four, three. two measures, right? 11 and 12 are the same as 13 and 14. Let's do it slow. Three, four, hammer the six, four, six, one, four, three, hammer, four, six, two, four, three, thumb, 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 middle, thumb, pointer, thumb, mess it up, thumb, middle, thumb, pointer. Yeah, that is the meat and potatoes of the song already Give yourself a little pat on the back. We're getting there, we're doing it. Let's run through that main kind of thing really slow together. And I, I promise you that's like 90% of the song. Oh yeah. 
Slow run through from the top, one all the way to 14. Two, three, four. Does this four times. I'm not gonna palm mute it now, just so you can hear it really clean, but they should all be palm muted in theory. Again, I broke my rule there. I suppose you could do the chord this way. I'm not gonna bust your chops about it. Either way is fine. And it should be palm muted. But I know people, it's harder to tell what I'm playing. But you get the idea. Have fun with it, go slow. Don't rush these songs. I cannot stress that enough as your, you know, favorite YouTube guitar teacher. Maybe your least favorite. I don't know where I'm in your ranking. It doesn't matter, but as a buddy trying to help you learn the guitar, go slow. You don't have to play any more than that. Maybe you're sitting on those first measures for two weeks. Maybe you're only doing the first four measures for six weeks. I don't know your skill level, but go slow. Learn a little bit really well. Memorize it instead of laboring over the whole song. I'd rather have you play me four measures in time, really beautiful, solid tone, than have you play me all 40 measures, sloppy and not in good time. And it, take that to heart, okay? I can't say it enough. It is the truth. Stop now if you feel at all uncomfortable with any of that stuff and play it a thousand more times before you continue on with the video. Whew. Measure 15. So I will, we'll sing it later together. I know a lot of you are singers, so we will put the lyrics in place of all the measures later on. For now, let's just learn how to pick it because it's hard to do both together. So let's just learn it first. And then at the end, timestamps are always below. So if you want to sing the verse now, jump ahead in the timestamps, come back here. But we, we played the first verse, we would repeat it, do the second ending while we were singing, and then we'd repeat it again with the third ending, right? So we'd have that second verse. And now we're going to ending number three, which is 15 in our tab. And it ends a little different here before we go to the bridge or the chorus or whatever you want to call it. So we hammer on again, two to three on that G chord, as usual. But then it's six, one, four, three, with our pinky down. And then the next measure, 16, is a little different here, new material, but not hard. Six, two, four, three, six, two, four, three. And then we start this chorus or bridge here on measure 17, and we go to a C chord. It's fun and hoppy. So C chord, five, four, three. Does the three first. Thumb, thumb, pointer. Then we move that ring finger up to the sixth string, and it's six, two, four, three, which was thumb, middle, thumb, pointer. So again. That's actually measure 18 as well. So he does do that twice. Measure 19, back to a G chord. I really like this measure. It's, it's fun and jumps around. Uh, it's just fun. And the next measure is even more fun. Uh, but we're doing six, four, three, six, three, four, two. But we have to add our middle finger here. So we have six, four, three, then it's six, and then back to the third string my middle finger is down on that second fret. So make sure you're able to move that finger while that G chord's down. Six, four, three, six, three again with that middle finger down on the second fret of the G string. So let's do it that way. The second half of the measure is just this. That middle finger is down and it's six, two, four, sorry, six, three, and colorful when you do it alone. Dreamy, right? But in context, really cool. And we'll go
go to the next measure, 20, same idea, but he does it rhythmically different. So cool. So six, four, and is on the third string. And here we have what I call a compound movement here. I'm pinching, or I'm hammering down the third, the second fret on the third string. <laughs> Too many numbers, sorry. Second fret on the G string. But the moment I hammer, I'm hitting my thumb. So as I hammer down on that note, I'm not hitting that second that uh, second fret again on the third string. I'm just hammering into it. But when I hammer, I am hitting my thumb on the sixth string. So I'm sounding the third with my left hand. But I'm also adding this bass note with my thumb and the right hand. So that's a new idea. It's you're gonna have to go slow to make sure you can can execute that. Here's the measure, six, four, and there's that compound motion. So just practice that really slow for a while. Thong, thong, and thong at the same time as the hammer. And then once you get that down, remember, repeat, pause the video, do it a hundred times. Then you're going to add this. A quick and on the second string with your middle finger. Let's play from 17 all the way through those four measures there. To the C chord, three, four. To the G chord. Cool, and so in that last measure there, make sure at the very end, your middle finger and left hand at the end because that note is open. Hammer. Lift it at the last second possible to get everything nice and legato. If I'm belaboring this, I'm sorry, you can always fast forward, right timestamps are below, but this is the hardest measure, so I want to make sure, we're, if, you know, if this is a new concept for you, that I'm explaining it well enough. And if you're, you know, if you're an old hat like this one, at this style and this technique, then move on. Fast forward a little bit, okay? I don't know who I'm talking to right now. I'm just looking at a camera, but I can see how cute you are and you, and you're really cute too. I don't know how well you play guitar, so I'm taking it slow, but you're all very cute and gorgeous. You're so beautiful. You're doing it. Measure 21, he just hits the G and stops. Right, there's a moment of, of break there. Then we go into that D7 chord, like this again, or like this, right? It doesn't matter how you finger it. And we're hitting six and three at the same time. And then thumb is on four, but it's kind of a heavy thumb. He's hitting four and three. He's just like strumming a bit with his thumb. So pinch these two, six and three, both second frets. Then heavy thumb. And then he ends this little section before we repeat again with this in measure 21, 22, 23. Six, four, three, six, one, four, three, six, four, three, six, one, four, three. Nothing new, right? Thumb, thumb, pointer, thumb, middle, thumb, pointer. And that's twice. And we're pretty much all the way there. You guys are getting it. I think you're seeing a lot of the patterns. That part was slightly different, but then it's just another verse with, um, you know, slight variation. This is where he goes into the quiet verse, I believe, right? He repeats it, instrumental, and then we go to a quiet verse. I know we don't have the words. Don't feel like you're getting lost. I want to teach you all these parts. And then later on, we'll, we'll add the vocals in place and we'll talk about the song flow. But first, I want to make sure you can execute all of these parts. Let's go from 21 one more time. You have that just little G hit here. Pour it on the pavement like you would a tombstone. Probably too quick, sorry. Pour it on the pavement like you would a tombstone. And then we have the lap steel comes in. We go back to the verse, run through the whole verse. But when we get to measure 10 of the instrumental verse, right, then we jump to 25. Here's where we're at now. And he ends this instrumental verse just with these four measures before we go to the, the quiet verse. And it's just this hammer on. Six, two, four, three. We've seen all this before. That's 
it. He just does it four times. So no new material here. Thumb, 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 middle, thumb, pointer. You know, those, all those ideas. And then he goes to this verse that's a little more mellow and has a different D7 part. Measure 29, the top of this quiet verse. Nothing new, right? Hammer on, four, three. Same little walk that we always do. Hammer on again, and we stay there again. So a lot like the first verse. This is a little different though. He goes to the D7 here, and here I'm doing the thumb, and I need my first finger on the first fret of the B string, the second string. So that's there, my middle finger is second fret of the G string, and my thumb is on that sixth string. And it's six, two, four, three, six, two, four, three. Thumb, middle, thumb, pointer. And then measure 33, let's keep going. A little bit different here, some more color. Six, two, four, two again, but you lift that pointer finger over there. <laughs> to the G, hammer on it, hammer on it again, same walk, but with the, the, the one note missing, right, he doesn't hit the second string on that C chord, G chord's hoppy, then the C simple, it's still getting bigger every day, it's amazing, this melon, does it look big, because it's really big, so we keep going, 36, nothing new here, we have seen this before, so we come out of that C in 35, then our ring finger continues on the C chord, we bring it up to the top, and then our pinky is down on the third fret of the first string. And it's six, one, four, three, then that finger goes down, five, one, five, two, four, three. So we've seen this measure before, nothing new, won't belabor it. it happens again, six in measure 37, six, one, four, three, <clears throat> then hammer on. Then the cool little walk again. It's the G, six, two, four, three. Then the D7, the simple one, where it's uh, six, three, four, three is open. Kind of going fast forward. We've seen all this material before. Let's keep going, 39. Seen this before as well, second string. And this is where things kind of build up. He starts picking louder. And he goes back into a loud verse for the final verse, and we're almost there. Yeah. The final verse is, I rewrote it, but it's all repeats. We're just gonna fast forward all the way to measure 50, because here is the tag. So you're singing that verse again, exactly how you did the first few times, and then on 50, three, four, this is a repeat, you've seen this before. It's a C chord with the G in the bass. And here's where he hammers, figure out by me on your side. And that, that measures the same 251 we've seen before. But here it just tags again back to the G. Cycle, figure out by me on your cycle. So nothing new. It ends on that D7, but it's six, four, three, thumb, thumb, pointer. Didn't sound good there. And then he just hits a G. So he just tags it. I don't need to explain it. There's nothing new. It's just, you know, he's repeating little phrases because he tags the lyric. And that's the end of the song. We did it. Shake my hand. You've done so well. We're gonna sing it and put all, all of it together, but you've got all the parts, and I know you can do it. Don't feel overwhelmed. It's a, it's a lot of different parts, and I promise you'll memorize it. This song will feel more solid and sensical when we add the lyrics, and you have that as a guide. Sometimes I just know on certain lyrics, well, that's when the chord changes, right? You have the melody in your head, and you can kind of intuit when the chords go from G to C or D7 or whatever. So let's do all that. Slow run through with the lyrics. So we're gonna start from the top here. Here we just have this four times. It's the only time he does it. It doesn't happen anywhere else in the song. And now, well, I'll figure out by me a motorcycle. So make sure you're getting that down. Well, uh, there's the pickup, right? 
Well, I'll figure out by me on the side go. Go as slow as you have to to hit all that. Motorcycle rap, motorcycle rap, a pretty little freight found a telephone pole. Do we got it so far? Slow down, make sure you can match it up while finger picking. I've talked about this in other videos, but if that's too hard, just strum it. And if that's too easy, just do the thumb. Well, I think I'll buy me a motorcycle Wrap a pretty little frame around a telephone pole That might be a good skill level and then you can slowly start adding the color fingers, right? Your index and pointer. Um, let's go from rider. Rider off a mountain bike With you I haven't spent a ton of time on this song but I kind of like to do that because you, you guys get to see how I like struggle through learning it it's not a pretty process so get over it being pretty it's gonna take a long time and be a dumb amount of work to be able to finger pick and sing this song so that is the process and then we sing a second verse well, we have that whole ending um, but, but you get it we already talked about all that so then the second verse well, I'll fit, goes back to the top, right? Well, I'll figure I'll walk to the liquor store. Thunderbird, two bottles, maybe three, maybe four. Uh, sorry, follow my feet, the music roll. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Down, down a pavement. on the lyrics I think it's the tombstone part and here's where we go to I don't know if you call it the bridge or the chorus but you start singing on that tombstone part let's take it from the end of measure nine and it's that uh, through the second verse so three four pour it on the pavement like you would a tomb and then we jump to ending three right measure 15 tombstone like you would a tombstone it up there it's pour it on the pavement like you would a tombstone go slow make sure you land them red bird red bird what do you see i see a yellow duck looking at me yellow duck yellow duck what do you see i see a blue horse looking at me um. Then we go to the instrumental part and then a quiet verse, which is here um, from quiet verse. <laughs> Three, four. Feel I'm weary of feeling this way. Pop another pill, hop another train. Hangs out on that D7 longer. To my brothers and my sisters that I'm reading the tab and trying to sing it at the same time but you get the idea after um pop another pill hop another train there's that longer d7 it's kind of like a bob dylan trick where you just add extra moments of of suspense in between the chords that weren't there before that give it a really great sound and then we go to the last verse and we tag it right we just have that motorcycle um figure i'll buy me a motorcycle lyric tagged which we already played that part i don't think i need to do it again because you get it. And that's it, guys. All that I'm trying to say is go slow with the vocal. 
time it at, well, first do your skill level. Are you strumming? Are you just doing the thumb? And then if you're doing all the fingers, go really slow, be deliberate, realize where each syllable is going on each different finger hit and you'll eventually get there. I promise, slow and steady wins, wins the race. If you need encouragement, comment below. Send me an email. I love talking to you guys. Love hearing about your feedback. I love when you guys record what you've done and post it to YouTube and share it or email it to me. That stuff makes me so happy. So drop me a line and let me know how Coulter Wall's going for you. Motorcycle. Brilliant. All right, tedious slow run-throughs of the whole thing up close for all of you who want it. And now you can see how ridiculous my outfit is. I didn't prepare for you to see my shorts. Who wears a cowboy hat and <laughs> khaki shorts? <laughs> oh, well, here we go. I think you can see everything really good from the top. Three, four... exact same thing. Second ending would be exactly the same. And then you'd repeat again from the verse. And let's do the verse again. Three, four. And then we'll get to the third ending after all this. Fifteen, three, four, because I kind of botched it. Tombstone. Oh, I messed it up, didn't I? Yes. So one more time from fifteen, the third ending. Because I botched it. instrumental thing but then of the fourth ending so measure 25 let's do that three four so we're coming out of the end of that little cool pedal steel solo it's kind of quiet and then we have our quiet verse here 29 This, this should just prove my point to you that you should print out your own paper, okay? Two, three, from 37, three, four.
but there you go. Slow run through. Got all the parts, I know you can do it. If that's still too quick, you can drop it down to 0.75. I swear I'm 38 years old, but my head continues to grow. It's still getting bigger every day. It's amazing, this melon. Does it look big? Because it's really big.